guess I am going to throw this trap till I get bit. I'm all over them with this spritz side deck. It's time for day two coverage of the 2021 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Anglers are allowed to use only Berkeley baits, and they're going out in search of a giant on this final day. Day two features three weigh-in sessions that'll pay out a total of 40 places, awarding tens of thousands of dollars in prizes. Can someone manage to eclipse the leading mark of 5.75 pounds and take the win today? Aiden Cole, Murray State University, coming up to the stage here. Gonna set the bar high for the final session presented by Berkeley. Find out next, as final day coverage from Kentucky Lake starts now. Oh, fuck! Woo! How about that one? That right there takes the day one lead. Big Silly! New leaders from Drury University. Way to go, there's your first place team. Welcome back out for day two of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley here on Kentucky Lake. Anglers were greeted with a lot of rain, cloudy skies, and high winds on day one. Here on day two, we're seeing a little break in the action. Not much rain. It's going to be a little brighter, a little breeze, but just enough for these anglers to maybe go out and catch some really good fish here on the second day of competition. You want to go out and try to find us a keeper fish right off the bat. Hopefully it's a big one like yesterday. Uh, I kind of noticed in practice the bite's kind of really good in the mornings and whatnot, and we got Got a little bit of a breeze here and overcast, so it's gonna kinda work for what I'm throwing. You know, day two's conditions here on Kentucky Lake are drastically different than what we saw in day one. We woke up to a very kind of a warm feeling, which is, is, is very, it's very important in the springtime to have that type of a warm feeling in the morning. What happens when you have those warm nights is that water temperature doesn't drop. So those fish that pulled up late in the afternoon um, the day before are going to be sitting there shallow, dirt shallow as a matter of fact. Their backs are like in a foot of water. And when you first get out fishing early in the morning after a, night, a warm night like that, what you can often find is a very easy, very early uh, success and catch rate. So it's not going to be out of the realm of, of possibility that the first two, three, four hours of today's fishing are going to be the best fishing and we'll see the biggest fish. With the morning launch now complete, let's go out on the water and check in with several of the session winners from day one. Well, the objective of today was to put the troll motor down and fish. This pairing from top-ranked Montevallo encountered motor issues on the way to their starting spot this morning. They're now having to improvise and make the most of their current situation. So, my lower unit started making a little bit of noise yesterday, and um, we kind of had we kind of knew it was going to go out at some point today. We just didn't know when. We were hoping we could make it to where we caught our fish yesterday, but that didn't happen. So now we're here in this creek because. To, it's uh, the closest just, one, and it kind of, which it's, it's set up a little bit like what we were catching them in. Just this one's a lot bigger, but the banks that we were catching our fish on look look about the same. It's just an adjustment we're gonna have to make and just put our heads down and fish. You know, yeah, just, our goal last night we told our we, we were told we talked and we were we were gonna just put the troll motor down and fish today. I and mean, I mean, right at the end of the day, we just put the troll motor down, probably covered. We put more water than we did in the whole day of practice. So I just think we just kind of put our patrol motor down to fish. Yesterday we had a good start off the bat. Um, bike kind of turned off after that for us. Don't know if we were in the wrong areas or what we were doing, so we're going to try to change it up a little the day. This spot. Uh, Kind of made it special to us was noticed all this dead fall up top. So if there's a lot of dead fall up top, you can presume there's probably some down in the water. Um, we also found a really good water temp for this bank yesterday. We found a 58 here, and I feel like that made them fish pull up because this is the only place we really found 58 in the lake. Um, so that was in our favor yesterday, and water temps dropped a little bit uh, from the rain and no sun being out. It's still a good water temp, so we're gonna hope there's still fish pulled up here. One degree shouldn't really 
bother them that much, but you never know how finicky a fish can be. After the break, we bring you weigh-in coverage for day two, session one, presented by Abu Garcia. Weather and fishing conditions have improved today. Will that result in better fish catches? Stay tuned to find out. There's no feeling like it. When you prep the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. Keep fishing. So gear up with all the best fishing gear. Only at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Shop in store or online. When there's miles of water in front of you and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements, and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. You have a full-time job and you want to be a full-time angler. Don't waste time scouting. You want to catch fish. That's where Garmin comes in. Our mapping with Navionics data lets you see more detail than the fish do. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, and our industry-leading live sonar is so crisp and clear you'll think you jumped in. You're welcome. Now, if only we had a powerful, efficient, whisper-quiet trolling motor. Actually, we do. It's called Force. We knew you'd like that. Less time finding, more time catching fish. Only with Garmin. All right, day two of the Bass Pro Shop's Big Bass Bash, presented by Berkeley. Getting it started here, Harmon Marion from second rank, McKendree University. Going to take an early lead here, 504. 504. Yeah, Pull that one out. That's going to be a big number to beat this session. Session one presented by Abu Garcia. We saw two or three over the five pound mark yesterday. Also saw a five pounder in the first session. So these fish are biting early, they're biting good, and we are on the board here. All right, Harmon, step up to the mic for us. Talk about that fish real quick. I don't think I saw you up here yesterday, so you're on the board today. What changed for you guys? Uh, yesterday we ran north, probably about 10 miles. Today we ran south about 10 miles. Caught on the second cast and uh, ran 10 miles back. <laughs> That's what I was telling everybody. It seemed like if they went north yesterday, they were going south today. And if they went south yesterday, they're going mm -hmm. north today. What what uh, Berkeley Bay did you catch that on? Uh, we were, I was throwing a buzz bait with the toad. Today was the first day I tied it on. Uh, they are shallow enough. I just uh, figured why wouldn't they eat a top water this early in the morning. And uh, yeah, it worked out, second cast. And uh, hopefully we'll run 10 miles back and see you later today. All right, go do it, man. Good job. Good. All right, 10th place right now is a 263. So you got to get 263 a tie or 264 better to take over the top 10. Jacob, come on up here, Arkansas State University. We've got a good one. We got several over four already. We're going to beat four pounds with that one? Hope so. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, easy, 516. Let me check first place. That may put you, that puts you in the first place for this session. Get that fish out and get you a picture real fast. 516, Jacob Oliver, Arkansas State University. So right now, Jacob, that would get you a $300 Bass Pro Shops gift card, an Abu Garcia Ike casting rod, and $130 in product from TH Marine. That sounds like a pretty good haul. Yes, sir. Talk about that fish real quick when you set into it. Did you think you had a session winning fish, or did you just have another bite? Uh, at first, I thought I just had another bite, but then he started pulling drag on me. I thought I had a monster, but that five pounder was really nice. We've heard crankbaits, um, chatterbaits, soft plastics. What Berkeley product did you catch that one on? I don't know, Warpy. That largemouth bass weighing 5.16 pounds, the bit the Berkeley Warpig earns Jacob Oliver top honors in day two, session one, presented by Abu Garcia. Harmon Marion from second ranked McKendree University finishes in second for this period. That fish weighing 5.04 pounds should earn McKendree valuable points as they look to go for the first ever three-peat in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. And Brock Schweck rounds out the top three in the first session of day two. 
Day two of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley is unique in the fact that these anglers can only use Berkeley products here on day two. That includes hard baits, soft plastics, trailers on the backs of spinner baits, jigs, chatter baits, you name it. They've got to find a Berkeley product to go out and catch those fish to bring them into weigh in today. Just walking over to a frit side. That's what I caught my fish on yesterday. Day two of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bass is presented by Berkeley and it has a unique twist that's been built into it the last few years. The anglers will be, you know, basically using a Berkeley bait, a Berkeley product for any type of fishing presentation that's going on. Berkeley has really stepped up and has been a longtime supporter of collegiate bass fishing of ours. And at this particular event, inside their goodie bags, they're getting several bags and different types of uh, configurations of baits. I'm tying a foot side five on. Try to change it up a little bit. This one about this foot side more than anything right now. Well, my confidence based bait is this uh, Berkeley Warpig. It's like a red and chartreuse on bottom. And they are seeming to hit it. I, all the fish I've caught have hit it almost as soon as I start reeling. The cool thing about the Berkeley baits in this type of, uh, of an event is they make everything from hard baits to soft baits. So these anglers can still adjust to the exact uh, types of techniques or specific applications that they're looking for while they're out fishing. They're just sometimes using it with a brand maybe they haven't been exposed to. So this format allows these anglers to get their hands on baits and, and that they, they may not have used in the past. And so it opens up more areas and more ways that they can catch fish. Fish. Looks like we're going to have to cross that bridge now. Here's the reason we going to have to cross that bridge. This thing will measure. This hand's right there on the line. Oh. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Out of the water. Coming up next. Tournament action continues from Kentucky Lake in the 2021 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Keep it tuned here as anglers continue to land keeper bites and cross the scales with quality fish. The Yamaha VMAX V6 SHO continues to deliver the level of performance that pro bass and multi-species anglers demand. Underneath a bold and aggressive new look, an upgraded charging system with 40% more charging power meets the amped up demand for today's advanced electronics. The VMAX SHO, raw power, reliability, and exhilarating performance for every angler who loves the sport enough to invest in the best. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. As a professional angler, you've got so many things on your mind. Any advantage that we have is key. And not only rods and reels and lines and baits, but in our clothes. And the guys at AFCO, I mean, they have something for every situation. There's nothing AFCO hasn't thought about with the fishermen in mind. It's designed for fishermen, by fishermen, for every scenario you can come to. Any fish, any water, any condition, AFCO has you covered. All right, we got Wade Middleton, director of the Association of Collegiate Anglers up here. Wade, so far this morning, I'm taking a look at the day two session one results. We've got two over five, three more over four pounds. Here in this session alone, session two presented by Tacticam, we've got two more fish over four pounds. We're seeing some really good quality to start off day two. Doesn't really surprise me. You know, these fish want to be shallow. They want to move up right now. Guys are talking about catching them in the dirt. And based on the history that I have here this time of the year, when you get weather like this, it's not uncommon to catch them less than three foot of water, uh, you know, in, in fast moving reaction type baits or pitching stuff to, to the brush. We're noticing also, we're hearing a lot of it's, it's spinner baits, 
chatterbaits, swim jigs with Berkeley trailers. We're hearing the Fritz side crankbait a lot and also the war pig. Are you surprised by any of the baits from Berkeley that are showing out today or is this pretty common this time of year on Kentucky Lake? Not at all. You know, you fish what's in front of you this time of the year. I think that's the best thing about this time of the year. And, you know, Berkeley's been a longtime supporter of the Association of Collegiate Anglers. And when they first approached us about this format for the second day, it made a lot of sense. Number one, they make a great product line. Number two, they've got a variety of baits that's going to suit anybody's style, whether you're a finesse fisherman or a power fisherman. Keep them on, BK. That's a large amount. That makes the second keeper fish caught by this Montevallo team here on day two. With that quality keeper in the well, these anglers now have a decision to make about finding a way to return to weigh-in and bring that fish to the scales. All right, 10 5 we got, we got two fish in the live well. Um, we're going to wait We're gonna wait till the last session to weigh in because our, load, my, our motor's messed up. And uh, I think that gives us the biggest bang for our buck. And weighing in the last session, that gives us plenty of time to fish and plenty of time to get back. So. We're, we're probably going to start easing our way back here in just a minute because it's going to take us a minute to get back. And uh, we'll go from there. Back at Paris Landing State Park, weigh in for session two presented by Tacticam is now underway. Let's see who will stake the claim to the top spot in this session. Fisher coming up here from Blue Mountain College, going to set the bar high here for session two. 477, 477. That's going to take the lead at the moment. Pull that one out of there and get a picture real quick. 477, that would have won a session or two yesterday. It gets you off to a start here in session two. This session presented by Tacticam, step up there. We saw you two or three times yesterday, Fisher. What's different today that you think maybe helped y'all find these couple? That's two four pounders for you guys here this morning. Well, we had a really good practice that one day we had. And I think that front coming in yesterday really kind of slacked off the bigger fish biting. But this little warmer weather's got them up, pushed back up shallow in the dirt. So, I mean, they're thinking about spawning in the next few weeks. I mean, this warm weather's gonna have them in the dirt. We're just gonna stay grinding out there and try to get a few more. Fisher Young from Blue Mountain College wins the session with 4.77 pounds. The session win earns him a Tacticam fisheye camera, $300 in Bass Pro Shops gift cards, and an Abu Garcia Veritas casting rod. Brendan Allen takes second, and Evan Marcel finishes in third. Blue Mountain College puts together a great showing in this session as three team members finish inside of the top 10, setting them up to make a surge in the School of the Year standings. Weather conditions are constantly changing in, on any fishing day. And day two here at the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley, that's really what we're seeing as we get into the last couple of sessions. This morning, I mean, it just felt right. If you're a fisherman, you walk outside some days and you can tell that this is a day they're gonna bite. We had a warm night last night. Those fish probably pulled up shallow and those guys that made the right decisions uh, caught a lot of fish early on. Now, as we kind of move into the midday scenario on day two, you can feel the difference in the air. It's like the temperature has dropped maybe five to 10 degrees Degrees, the wind's coming out of the north northeast and it's you feel it a little bit different right now now we do have clouds and we do have winds which will really set up for the reaction bite but I'm starting to wonder if some of those easy fish were caught at first light in that first hour and now it's gonna be a little bit more of a grind as we wrap up the final day here from the Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley on Kentucky Lake Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24 7. Visit boatus.com. TH Marine has been producing top-of-the-line marine accessories to rig boats from transom to trolling motor for decades. From jack plates to fish care to LEDs, TH Marine has you covered. TH Marine, outfitting your boat from transom to trolling motor. Hey, three key rods that played a great deal in my success this year on the Bass Pro Tour Trail was the 
seven foot four multi-span spinning rod in our lithium series. Another rod that I used a lot this year was our seven foot two Covart heavy action rod. Last but not least is our lithium 884 in heavy action. So check them out, Denali rods. I think you'll be happy with the success you receive from them. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. One of the reasons I'm absolutely enamored with Kentucky Lake and why it's a great host city for our event is it is a diverse body of water. There's so many different ways to fish it. We have been coming here for well over a decade and the reason we come here is because of its attractiveness for, for college fishing and tournament fishing in general, as well as being an absolutely great host group. You know, we work with Henry County in Paris, Tennessee. They roll out the red carpet for these anglers. You know, we'll have big barbecues. They're gonna bring food in for from everywhere, their mayor comes and speaks. They, they, they embrace these college kids unlike any other. We love having these college anglers here. We see them when they come in and do their pre-fishing, and we, you know, I love getting the text message, phone calls. I'm seeing boats. What's coming up? What's and so we get a lot of those messages, and uh, you know, seeing these kinds of, of of youth being raised the way they are, it's exciting stuff, and that's why we continue to invest in in uh, tournaments like this with the collegiate. Not only does the Paris Henry County Chamber invest in the future of the sport. It also invests in the future health of the fishery. Last May, a fish stocking program was started that'll introduce 300,000 fish to Kentucky Lake over a three-year window. We've already finished year one. This May will be year two, and then May of 22 will be year three. Uh, and that investment's huge because that's that's helping the, the spawning process. It's helping grow these fish. Uh, I, I talked to Gary Mason and some of his guys earlier said we had a great spawn last year. Uh, and so just trying to help keep everything as, as natural as possible, but still having some great fish in this lake. We now return to Paris Landing State Park for Session 3 weigh-in presented by Berkeley. As college fishing's top anglers showcase the great fish that Kentucky Lake is producing today. Aiden Cole, Murray State University coming up to the stage here. Going to set the bar high for the final session presented by Berkeley. 541. 541, not going to take the overall lead, definitely sets the bar high in this last session of the day. Samuel from Murray State University coming up here. Another good one, were you fishing with Aiden? Yes, I was. Same boat, y'all are on some good ones yep. this weekend. Caught it on the same thing. He 538, did. 538. Those are almost identical. His was 541. Yours Aww. is 538. Hold it up there. That's going to look good for Bass Pro Shop School of the Year points presented by Abu Garcia. Aiden Culp and Samuel Mole representing Murray State University combined to go 1 2 in session 3 presented by Berkeley. Aiden earns a $1,000 Bass Pro Shops gift card, an Abu Garcia rod and reel, and an ACA custom buff. All total, those prizes are valued at over $1,200. Adam Troyer from Indiana University manages a third place finish in session three with 5.60 pounds. And with the last session in the event now complete, we take a look at the final overall standings. Cole Dodson from number one ranked University of Montevallo wins the 2021 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley with his day one catch weighing 5.75 pounds. Dodson's tournament victory nets him an additional $5,500 in prizes and 1,000 points towards the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. The two Murray State anchors who just placed in session three finished second and third overall. Each of the top five anglers in the final standings this weekend automatically qualified to compete in the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops at the end of the season. Overall, man, I, I mean, it's, it's been a long time coming. I've, I've been wanting to win something like this forever, especially, I mean, all the prizes and stuff they give away. But, I mean, 
I, I'm, I'm just proud to be part of Mont of Alex. I mean, we're doing really good this year, and it just pushes us up on the edge, you know, and it got us a spot in the national championship as a bonus team, so that means a lot. Following this weekend's event at Kentucky Lake, here's a look at the updated standings to the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. The University of Montevallo maintains its first place position with a total of 12,870 points. Back-to-back -back winners, McKendree University holds steady in second, and Murray State earns the most points of any team competing here this weekend to jump into third overall. Only two more ACA double points events remain until a winner is crowned at the end of the season. That concludes coverage of the 2021 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Special thanks to the Paris Henry County Chamber for the hospitality this week. This has been a Careco TV production. This episode was made possible by these partners. Born in Japan, FC Sniper became the number one fluorocarbon line in the Japanese market. It transitioned to the U.S. in the early 2000s and continues to grow in prominence with anglers. FC Sniper is the flagship product in the American market and bestseller. It features the perfect blend of abrasion resistance, low memory, and tensile strength. FC Sniper is offered in pound tests that range from 2 pound to 30 pound and in school sizes up to 1,200 yards. FC Sniper has the strength to guarantee your confidence. We don't have a large laboratory to test baits. Why, you ask? We don't need a big laboratory because our pros fish, our employees fish, our owners fish, and our kids fish. This is our laboratory. Our R&D comes from time on the water. All that time on the water brings us thousands of hours of testing new products and improving current ones for all species. Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. already discovered the secret to success with the Secret Lures Stupid Tube and landed big one after big one. Well now, Secret Lures is giving you even more fish catching chances with the all new Stupid Craw. Sized to fit the 4 odd Secret Lures Stupid Tube jig head, the Stupid Craw has you covered from the brand new 5 16 ounce down to an 8 ounce jig head. On the belly of the craw, you'll find two molded dots that act as a rigging guide, giving the jig head perfect alignment when rigged. The stupid craw also boasts a hook trough that protects the hook from snags and vegetation, allowing for a perfect weedless presentation. Anyone at Secret Lures will tell you, the stupid craw is 3.7 inches of crawdad goodness that you're gonna want in your tackle box this year. So head on over to secretlures.com for more information about the brand new stupid craw by Secret Lures.
the lightest rod ever built. All new nanocarbon technology, 25% more casting distance, digitally controlled braking, incredible sensitivity, magnetically sealed components, micro computer monitor more sensitive, tournament test up, ultra the only rod for your new boat.